Hello everyone, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to Moshi Monsters Biography. That's right. As you see, I'm using a different device right now. This time, I'm recording this episode off of my, off of Nicole's iPhone. So, yeah, since my phone is still glitching out of control. Sorry about that, people, but never fear. The camera will be back up before you know it. So, thank you for your attention. But anyways, uh, let's not waste any more time here. Let's just go ahead and get started. Actually, take a look at another Moshi Monster. Yay! Oh my gosh. We finally get to introduce another Moshi Monster here on the show. And this one is going to blow you away. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> and see, this, this Moshi Monster is the most popular and the most, and the most adopted monster in the game. So, let's take a look at it right now. Everyone brace yourselves because this is going to blow you away. So, if you're ready for this episode, great. Then let's get started with today's episode. Here we go. We did Diavolo on episode 96, and then Furry on episode 141. Now it's time to meet our third Moshi monster. And he is the leader of the team. He knows his karate skills, and he knows his four claw high hurricane. For episode 207 of Moshi Monster Brian, we are taking a look at Katsuma. Yes, that's right. It is about Katsuma. And uh, we're so glad you're here. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the leader of the Moshi Monsters, Katsuma. So, welcome to Moshi Monsters Biography, and we are taking a look at Katsuma. This is episode 207, and uh, I'm finally glad you made it here. So, thank you for being here. We're so glad you finally made it on time. And uh, let's get, let's just go ahead and jump right into the story, and let's see how well you know your, you know your skills with Katsuma. All right, here we go. Let's get started. For those who haven't seen our episode, which is episode 206, taking a look at Kate. Giggleton, who is the uh, loyal princess of Marshall City, the link to that will be on the top right corner of the screen for you to go watch right now. The upper symbol is waiting for you right up there for you to watch. For now, let's not waste any more time here. Let's go ahead and jump into the story. If you're ready, great. Then let's get started with today's episode. Here we go. So, who is Katsuma? Katsuma is a monster in Moshi Monsters and the main monster of the Katsuma species. He has his own Nintendo Yes game entitled Katsuma Unleashed, in which the player plays as him. He also appears in Moshi Monsters the movie. Wow, I didn't know about that. Uh, going to the stats, name is Katsuma. Debut in Motion Monsters the Movie. Species is Katsuma. The relationships include fellow movie, movie monsters, and specifically Poppet, which I'm going to talk about in future episode series. Dr. Strange Club, who I already talked about in episode 106 of the series. So please give it a watch if you haven't seen it yet. Rory's Call, which I'm going to talk about in future episodes of the series. And Philly, Gritty, Franklin, Swoop, Fang, Winston, and Swiper. They all don't have their own character biographies on. On the Moshi Monsters Wiki. If they do, I'll let you know. And speaking of the Moshi Monsters Wiki, I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you want to go check it out. Um, getting into the official movie biography. Katsuma is a well meaning but big headed Moshi Monster obsessed with becoming a Cooper star, a fan of martial arts. He is forever trying to perfect new kung fu moves but nearly always messes them up. In his quest to find the great Moshi egg, Katsuma learns an important lesson. We're in this together. Oh, should I say, it? we're all in this together. Yeah! Everyone! <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, in Moshi Monsters the Movie, Katsuma is a self-centered, fame-hungry, gotta-be-a-movie gotta be star and protagonist of the movie, along with Poppet and Mr. Sudo. I'll talk about Poppet and Mr. Sudo in future episodes of the series, so keep an eye out for notes when they come out. He does not take delight in his friends tagging along after trying to cater his action fighting towards Rory Scroll and stays rather ir <laughs> irritable throughout the movie. He is rather clumsy and tends to fall over and fail when performing his Hiya Hurricane! <laughs> oh gosh. A recurring plot with is whistling and Katsuma's inability to do so. When, when Mrs. Studo hatches at the end of the movie and there is not much for it anymore, Katsuma gains the ability to whistle. Wow, oh my gosh. And Mrs. Studo will be discussed in a future episode of the series. I'll let you know when it comes out, so please stay tuned. Oh my gosh. Throughout the movie, Katsuma befriends a green Katsuma dancer in Johnnywood, who is shown to visit his house in Monstro City in the credit animation of the movie, where he serves her a drink. Unlike most Katsumas, he has stated to dislike dancing. Oh yes, I very, very love that. Uh, in music videos, Four Claw Haya Hurricane, Katsuma is portrayed in a dojo training, in a dojo training his signature move, Four Claw Haya Hurricane. Glumps began to uh, begin to evade the dojo on demand of Doctor Strange Club, but are no match for Katsuma. And Doctor Strange Club again, he was on episode two hundred and six of the series. So please go to watch if you haven't seen that episode yet. Uh, Shoni, the amazing blazing raisin. Katsuma is having a good time on Ulai Lane together with Diablo and Poppet, but laughter ceases as they spot Shoni approaching town. 
as soon as Shoji spots them and waves, they all flee. Unlike the other monsters, Katsuma deliberately tried to avoid Shoni by hiding in the, in, in the cinema, looking around and sighing in relief to have avoided them, until Shoni comes to sit next to him. Katsuma's fearful body language shows him to know what is going to happen. The first mildly humoristic thing they see on screen causes Shoni to burst out in laughter and flames. Roasted and annoyed, Shoni offers Katsuma peppercorn, while Katsuma remains in his death, death, deathly stare towards Shoni, as the food also bursts into flames. Oh my gosh, I didn't know about that. Uh, I'll talk about Shoni in future episodes of the series. As for Poppet, she'll be discussing the future as well as well. And down below, he was on episode 96 of the series, so please give, so give, please give it a watch if you haven't seen that episode yet. Uh, in the trivia, the depiction of the Rising Sun flag is propaganda of Japanese imperialism and therefore offensive in nature. Instead of removing it in Katsuma's artwork, it was censored by making it two colors of blue instead of the red-white. However, the depiction of the war symbol is still shown in the music video for Glahaya Hurricane. Thus, not necessarily was th this change censorship out of caring, but more an alternation to make it more aesthetically pleasing color-wise. Oh my gosh, at this Oh guys, that's all about that's all about that's that, that's everything you need to know about Kenta. Now let's talk about the species itself. About the species, Katsumas are a type of adoptable mode monsters in Boshi monsters. They have natural health, so it's fine to leave them alone for two to eight days. Although they need to have food at hand and plenty of games to raise their health and happiness. And you can see there's Katsuma on the left side of your screen. Hi Katsuma! Hi! <laughs> Waving his hand, cheering happily. Hey, thank you, Katsuma. Uh, going to the biographies. The Katsuma craze. Katsumas are super smooth, but don't mess with them or you'll unleash a flurry of claws, jaws, and lightning fast paws. Urgh, I know this firsthand. Note to self, never eat a Katsuma's last box of starlight cookies. Hey, do you know what the most popular Katsuma colors are? I got the inside scoop on the color choices that are pit that are picked most when Katsumas are adopted. Wow, so black and white is the most it's the most popular Katsuma color combo. Who knew? Followed by closely, followed closely by two blue combos, a pink and an orange, a pink and an orange. Hey, do you know anybody with a Katsuma in one of these popular color combos? Comment on this blog and tell me their their monster order name. And a few of you will will, will win a random rocks prize. Wow, we know about that in the Motionpedia. Mess with a Katsuma and you'll and you'll unleash a flurry of claws, jaws, and lightning fast moves. When Katsumas are busting chop-tastic moves, they're busy working on their super smooth style. Woohoo! I didn't know about that in the Kurdo Encyclopedia. Main. Main. Katsumas are friendly but big headed little monsters who love to be tickled. They look super cute with big doe eyes, floppy ears, and fluffy tails, but they could be fearless fighting machines if they're angry. Highly trained in martial arts. Karate chopping katsumas are all claws, jaws, and lightning fast paws. Chop-tastic! Oh yeah. Fashion followers. When katsumas are perfect, they're are perfecting their chops and kicks, they love to hop down to Slut Street to pick up the, the latest fantastic fashions at Katsuma Clothes. These style, cons these style conscious quitters love accessories that enhance their look without restricting their moves. For example, stylish trainers or sweatbands to keep the sweat from their paws. Time out! Being a cool karate expert is hot work. Claw some Katsumas take regular breaks and sip on thirst quenching energy drinks. Oh yeah, I love it. Uh, in the data file, Habitat, Marshall City, Catch Races, Classum, Bossa, Chaptastic, Monster Mates, Diablo, Furry, Lovely, Poppet, Zomber. Diablo was on episode 96, Furry was on episode 141. If you haven't seen any of these episodes, please go to watch. As for Lovely, Poppet, and Zomber, they'll, they'll, they'll be discussed in future episodes of the series. Please stay tuned. For the notes, Heavily styled tuft of hair. Sh uh, sharp little teeth are great for nibbling Katsuma Crunch cereal. Katsumas can take any monster down with a squish of their large, stripy tails. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much it. I really love it. Uh, and for adoption, Katsumas are together with Poppets, are the top popular adopted species in Moshi Monsters and are thus much more prominently promoted in merchandise. They are based on felines in behaviorism and, body, uh, and bodily abilities, as they produce sounds similar to meowing and can emerge claws. They bear resemblance to rabbits in form, although this was preserved in an insult in the fiction that mentioned it. Katsumas are fast and talented in martial arts, specifically karate. They are overall often associated with Japanese culture. Katsumas are bold, fierce, and feisty, and have a very boastful nature. 
In fiction, Katsumas have been a bothering fact factor in the group of dynamic of the main monsters, as shown with Axel Man Slap, leaving the fist bangs due to being too full of himself and Katsuma and the Great Monster Egg. And Axel Van Slap will be um, and Axel Van Slap was already discussed on episode 12 of the series, so please give it a watch. Yeah, I'll see that episode, yeah. In said movie, Dr. Strange Club tried to make use of Katsuma's nature, referred to him as the fame hungry furball Katsuma as part of his scheme. He did not plan on the rest of the gang tagging along. They do they don't like to be overhead, but most Katsumas like Katsuma Crunch, green uh, green and raw berry cheesecake. They hate sludge fudge. Uh oh. Now let's get on to the quotes. As you see, an asterisk indicates the line that can be said regardless of the Katsuma's happiest voice. And I'm gonna say say uh, I'm gonna say all the quotes using Katsuma's voice as her and Moshi Monsters to movie. So if you're ready, good, let's get started. So anyway, greetings. I'm feeling mighty fine today. Hey, 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 you're here. How do I look? You look great. How do I look? Hi there. I just been with, I just been for a run. What have you been doing? Hi. <laughs> uh, going to the general. Are, are, my, are all my teeth shiny? I get worried about they're not looking good. Keep an eye on me. Yeah? All right. I, for, I got that song stuck in my head. You're the one. Dee dum dee dee dee. <laughs> Forget it now. Boy, I look super sharp today. Arr! Chop, test it! Come on, let's do something, anything! Come on, let's shout till we drop! Can we play it out? Do you ever get a crick in your neck which you can, which you can't get rid of? Man, that's irritating! Do, do you want to go shopping? You never know what we might find! Don't you want, don't you just, don't you just love days like this? Games! No, games! Katsumas are Yes, when, when they're playing, when they're playing, we're very competitive. Have you ever wondered why clouds look very, look like big fluffy uh, bank swagglers? <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Eric, stop it! <laughs> hey, let's play. Hey, hey, looking good, feeling fine. Hey, who's uh, who said it looked like a squirrel? Own up! I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Ah, yeah! You should check out my round table, uh, my round house kicks. Hmm, I I can do with a little nibble. Hmm, this place needs a makeover. How about some grub? I can split a meteor in two with a single chop. I can't stand it. You've got to redecorate. I'm sorry, but you've got to. I don't know what, uh, what what's more deadly, my deadly looks or my deadly paws. I find this uh, I find this time day the most restful. A moment to stop and think about life. You know, I should get more exercise. I feel like I can run. Maybe I'll go running. Maybe I'll go running. Maybe later. Maybe. I think three is the best number. After nine, I mean three is an after nine. If that's a two, maybe two is the best. I'll tell you, biting hats if that work with these ears is a real problem. Is there a mirror around here? I'm bored. Please play with me. I'm doing really good. I'm feeling great tonight. I'm not an expert, but I hear that shopping makes you live longer. Shall we go? I'm tired of the way this room looks. Let's change it. It's good to be the monster. It's it's hard it's hard it's hard work looking this stylish. It's not easy being perfect. It's really time I you started to think you started thinking about changing the decorations around here. I've been uh, I've been meaning to ask what are earlobes for? They just tinkle. Oh yeah, earrings. Never mind. La la la. I feel so good. I go almost sing. Oh, let's do a little shopping. Gotta keep up. Uh, gotta keep up with the monster trends. Let's go. Let's find something fun to do. Let's go shopping. I want some new stuff. Man, yeah, you know, I mean, like, you know, it's really all the time. It's really, you know, maybe I should get a makeover. Mm, no, a second, huh? I look great. Maybe we should redo this room. My ears are too warm. Don't you hate when your ears are too warm or, or your feet? My foot hurts. No, hurts, hurts. Just pins and nails hurts. My furniture is feeling so last century. Let's update, let's update things a little. My teeth itch. Now we play a game. Yes, I want to play a game. No, <sighs> I'm a little tired. Too many games of Granny Ball. Pow! Right in the kisser. The colors in here just don't do it for me anymore. Let's redecorate. The look this season is well. Put it this way: it's not this. The weather's been great today. I think this is my favorite kind of weather. The that seems a bit pointless, really. It's nice though. That's not helping. Really, really not helping. 
That, that, that's weird. My mouth tastes like cardboard. Don't think I've eaten any. Not since Friday. This is pretty cool. Really, I mean, look around. Does this place look great? Unless I've got the late stuff from the shops. How can I be a cool cat Simba? Wait, did I leave the gas on? Oh, no, I forgot. I'm a monster, not a chef. Whew. We can make um, we can make this place look better, can we? More stuff. Let's shop. We can always go go now. Jelly to the wall. What's that? What's that? I'm behind you? Right there. Oh, it's gone now. When did I last change the style of this place? I think it was recently, but I can't remember. Why aren't you playing with me? You'll get the chop unless you do soon. Why shake hands when you can tickle, I always say. Whoa, I'm feeling really good today. Whoa, this is making me dizzy. Yeah, I'm over here. You don't, you don't ever want to be on the wrong side of Katsuma. Don't look at it. You know, if, if you chew your elbow for long enough, it goes green. Honestly, try it. Hey, hey, hey. You know what I like? Gum. Gummy, gummy, gum, gum. Yum, yum, yum. I like, you like, gum, gum, gum. You know what I think? What I really think? What I really think? And I'm not joking is, uh, you spin, you spin me right round, baby. Right round. Whee! You'd be happy if you looked this good. Woo! You're, you're better off not, you're not tickling me. <laughs> Don't really stop it. <laughs> You're looking at perhaps the happiest monster in all of Monstro City. Yum tum tiddle dum dee 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 wibble wobble tum tee tum dee dee dee. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the unhappy thoughts. For the unhappy quotes. Unhappy. Yeah, I'm mega bored. Okay, are you, uh, are you trying to make friends with me by doing that? Can we play now? Did I say you could touch me? Do I really do I have to come? Don't call me Sasuma! Boy, I do I hate that. Fine, I'll come. <sighs> hey, remember me? I'm still here. Hey, stop pawing me. Stop pawing me or there will be monster trouble. hum dee dum I can't stand it. You've got to redecorate it. I'm sorry, but you've got to. I think you, you know, you're you be in serious trouble unless we start to have fun soon. I'm feeling a little blue. Maybe it's the weather. I'm feeling a bit hungry. I'm staying put. What do you think of that? I'm tired of the way this room looks. Let's change it. I've got eggs in my pants, okay? Mm, yeah, whatever. Mm, you never pet you, you, you never pet me. Urgh, you're no, you're going to have to try harder than that. Not coming. Don't want to. Not uh, now you're really bugging me. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Oh, a bit to a bite to eat would be good. Oh, my tummy's rubbling. I'm starving. Stop it, stop it. Okay, maybe if you keep going. Stop it, stop it, stop it. That's not helping. Really, really not helping. That seems a bit pointless, really. It's nice, though. The look of this, the look this is, well, put it this way. It's not this. I'm the only way to calm my mood, and right now it's go shopping. What's a monster got to do to get some chow? Yeah, yeah, I'll come if I have to. You can try all you like. This monster is staying put. You better talk to the head. I'm not moving. Hey. Who said, uh, who said it looked like a squirrel? Own up, or, or, or uh, I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Why well, aren't you play with me? You'll get the trouble unless you do soon. Oh, gosh. Finally, for after eating. Delicious. Erp. Oh, my gosh. Delicious. Delirious a karate chop of taste. More and more. My tummy is, my tummy is rumbling, rumbling. Mm, not bad, but give me something a bit more nutritious. Monster delicious. Mmm, that was tasty. Nom, nom, nom. Okay, now, something healthy. Oh, yeah. Scrum delicious. Scrum delicious. That's the taste I'm, that I'm looking for. What are you? What? What is? That was not good. Yummy, yum, yum. Yummy, yum, yum, yum. Tasty. <sighs> and that's it. Let's get to, um, and that's it for all the quotes. So let's move on to the uh, notable members. Katsuma. And we have Spike. Super Katsuma. Axel Van Slap, Jolly, Jollywood Katsuma, we have Slick Rubbage, leader of the Lost Treasure of Obama Search Party, and Mr. Katsuma, aka Gentleman Katsuma. Oh, and now we got more trivia. Katsumas are the most adopted monster, followed by puppets, diablos, lovelies, furries, and zombers. The name Katsuma is a cross between a cat and a satsuma. Their appearance seems to be based on the cabot, a hybrid common in various common in various kinds of fiction. Katsuma's language is called Katsumanese. 
Katsumas generally enjoy dancing with Katsuma, whose character, as an exception. Katsumas were the only members, who the only monsters who could gain weight. This, however, was removed from the game. Katsuma is one of the, the, the two monsters, is one of the two monsters to have a to mosh and chat toy, along with Poppet, which again, I'm going to talk about in a future episode. Frazzle, a staff member, is a Katsuma. In April 2013, Katsuma got a new look along with the other monsters. Wow, I didn't know about that. Uh, a Katsuma starred in a Froops advert, along with a Diablo and a Zomber, which, uh, of course, Diablo will be discussed in, uh, which, of course, Diablo was discussed on episode 96, and Zomber will be discussed in future episodes, so please stay tuned. A Katsuma Unleashed, there's a character who looks like a, who looks like Katsuma, but with a monocle, a monocle, top hat, tie, and tuxedo. They go by the name Mr. Katsuma and are, and are a simple, unlockable palace swap of Katsuma. In the game's files, the character is called Gentleman Katsuma. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's it for Katsuma, ladies and gentlemen. Final answer for, for the character after 21 minutes of non-stop talk about Katsuma. With, let's get to the final rating for the character. So, 1 is trash, 2 is horrible, 3 is three, three is bad, 4 is so-so, 5 is average, 6 is decent, 7 is good, 8 is great, 9 is awesome, and 10 is perfect. I can't believe it. No doubt about this, Katsuma, he is the best monster I ever had. Definitely awesome. Number one, hands off the hook. He is definitely one of those iconic monsters of all time. And he, of course, is the true leader of the team. He is one of the most iconic mon uh, monsters of all time. And definitely the best. And therefore, Katsuma is here to stay. Therefore, on scale 1 to 10, I'm going to rate Katsuma with a perfect score of 10 out of 10. Perfect score! Yay! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Katsuma is a perfect 10 out of 10. The perfect monster for everyone. Yay, Katsuma! Oh my gosh. And with my mind, Katsuma, you're in my hearts, and he is here to stay in Monstro City forever. Katsuma, the Moshi monster for everyone. But that's it, guys, and it's over. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Moshi Monsters by Kavi. Focus on Katsuma. Yay! Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Three Moshi Monsters down. Three more to go. We still have to cover then we still have to cover Lovely, and then Poppet, and then Zubber, and then we're done. We already did Katsuma this episode. So yay for Katsuma. We already did Furry, and we already did we already did Diavolo. Now we still got more Kendra Mario to come. So please stay tuned to the chat. We got more cool content coming for you coming soon. And please stay tuned for a new episode of Sammy and Kendra Origins later on today. But for now, thank you for watching. I am Because Such as You Resolve, and I will see you next time on Moshi Monsters Biography. Please come back and see me next time for episode 208 as we take a look at another Super Mosh Link. That's right, it's Kazuki out of the Ninja Set, who already got her own sleep story in Twilight, in Moshi's Corpse Twilight, Kazuki's Silent Wish. So you do not want to miss on that. We hope you, we hope you will join us for that. We can't, I can't wait to see what we have for you in the future. So, thank you for watching. We'll see you for episode 208 soon on Kazuki. For now, thank you for watching. I'm Miguel Sanchez. We're recording this video off of Nicole's iPhone. Please remember to leave a like on the video, share it with your friends. It helps us out. Also, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and also, try notifications to not miss a new video. Please, subscribe to notifications or not to not miss a new video from me, as we're on the road to 400 subscribers. And, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna let Katsuma take it from here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Kat Silva with the channel Sanchez, and I'll see you on the next video. God bless you, Abby Gaby. Hiya! Okay! Yeah! Kat Silva out. Laters!